Hey Slay Bays, it's your girl Tanae Elise from Workplay and Slay and we are back with you guys. It's been a long time. We missed you. We loved you. Let's get into it, ladies. <laughs> we really did though, like did. seriously. Um, so let's get into it. We're gonna be talking about our first topic of the day, and that's our work topic. So essentially, what do you guys think is the proper work attire for an interview? What do you think? Blazers. Definitely blazers. Oh yes. Well honestly, first and foremost, it depends on where you're interviewing. Because right. I mean that's a I different agree. type of outfit than like right. an office environment. If you're going to be a security guard or whatever, so it definitely depends on like where you're going to be. Yeah, I know. I agree. So if we're talking about a professional setting, uh, corporate America, right? So uh, blazers, as Clay mm -hmm. mentioned, yeah, is absolutely. super duper important. I think it's just very professional, very sleek, very business like. Uh, boss up, wear a blazer, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. So yes. I agree. A nice blouse. Um, yeah. Something with a collar. Something with a yeah. collar. I I love love yes, I think a big mistake that a lot of women make is that they wear like a tank top underneath. Oh, yeah. yeah. Um, and that's not really like a good professional right. look. Like you may think that it looks good. You may have a really nice slacks, a blazer, and a tank top, but definitely something with a collar or a very right. nice blouse yeah. um, right. is definitely going to get you, I feel like, looked at more in a professional manner. Mm -hmm. I agree. For sure. I really like wrap dresses as well. Yes. For interview, the long sleeve wrap yeah, dresses. Yeah. Right. Of course, come down to a, an appropriate length. Right. Yes. I always like those with a nice bag. Yeah. I feel like when you walk in with a wrap dress and a nice bag on your head, oh, yes. the watch, yes. she means yes. 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 It's like, look at her. It's definitely mm -hmm. a statement. I feel like if I see any woman who has something like that on, I'm like, oh my gosh, looks beautiful. Yeah. Right. I think yeah. heels are good too. Okay. Yeah. I hate the ballerina flat. Those are so horrible. Those look childish to me. I hate yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah. Like for an interview. Yeah. 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 Try to work. Work some heels. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. right. If you, once you get the job, then you can do the ballerina flats, right? Yeah. So, but when ballerina you flats, you got to yeah. No. But not for an interview. I definitely she definitely have on a good heel, nothing too like short. Whatever's comfortable for you. You don't want to look uncomfortable. Right. Yeah, sure it's comfortable. Yes. It could be um, what is it called? A tiny heel, or it can be not like, the kitten. 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 No, no, no. Not the kittens. Not the kittens. Not the kittens. Kitten. 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 Um, a pointy pump. I like pointy pumps. The pointy is yeah. good. The pointy yeah. pump is a very business savvy. Close toe. Close toe. Close toe. Close toe. Close toe. I understand you just got your pedicure, girl, yes. but yeah. if you're going to an interview, you definitely need to have a closed toe, yes, pointy heel. Um, Don't do the rounded platforms. Don't do no. platforms. Those no. look very no. strippery. And club yeah. shoes. Yes. yes. <laughs> yes. And club <laughs> shoes. And cheap and plastic. Cheap? You know, I can get all my rounded toes. Cheap though, like the rounded platform ones with the thicker and like the skinny. I don't like the rounded toe, like the toe. Yeah, yeah. I hate that. Yeah, not for interview. Yeah, yeah. No, no. I think that's no. like, 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 they should take it off the market. Yeah, yeah. I think that was very like <laughs> mid 2000s. It was, and now yeah. we're like in a whole new millennium right now <laughs> of like fashion and appropriate workwear. So. Stay up with the times, ladies. It's definitely important to make sure that you dress appropriately so that you can get that job and be a boss. Dress comfortably as right. well. Right. Dress and not too sexy, right? No. Unless you're looking for a man at the office. Uh, <laughs> now to get into that. Speaking of that. Uh, so, okay, guys, let's talk about this. Because yes. if you have that fly, professional, comfortable outfit and you attract some eyes, while you're at work, what are you guys' thoughts on dating at the workplace? I say no, don't do okay, that. Okay, well, first of all, have you ever done it? I have not. I have. I have, I but have I've, I've witnessed it amongst my, my younger days. 
It's a lot to take on though because I worked with him for like 12 hours a day. Mm -hmm. He was at my apartment all the time. Oh my gosh. Spent the weekends sick. So it was a lot to like handle, but like, I don't know. I probably wouldn't do it again. Yeah. I currently would. have yeah. Um, in my office a husband and wife. Oh wow. Um, we That's work in together. Oh, wow. And they're, we have teams at work and they're on the same team. Oh really? Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. And their husband, they. They come, they come together, they work all day together, they leave, they have lunch together, together. they have lunch yeah. together. That's a lot. I'm too yeah. much. Yeah. I need a break. I need a break. I seem to be working for them. They seem happy. And they, they probably work. hate each other. <laughs> <laughs> when they get my man, I had to go to the other car at work, but talk to me like that again. <laughs> Yeah, so um, I don't think that you should do it. I think work is where you work, and home is where you're at home. Mm -hmm. And what's the all saying? Like, don't what is it? Shit where you eat. Yeah, that one. You shit. That part. <laughs> so I don't feel like you should mix work and pleasure. Like, if it's your workspace, you shouldn't be dating someone because it's a conflict of interest, mm -hmm. and it just causes a lot of drama and mess that you don't really need in your life if you're trying to be successful and move up to the company. You don't want that negative Well, maybe. Well, how about if you are trying to move up and you want to date your boss for that reason? That's yeah. terrible. Yeah. Mommy, I know it's terrible. <laughs> but it'll get you to the top. Women do that. Uh, yeah, sounds good. Women yeah. do that. No, I wouldn't do it. Actually, yeah. no, I'll work my way up to the top. But right. Like, yeah, that happens you shouldn't do it because then they can hold that against you yeah. and over your head. Order. Like Because right. you may be right. wrong at your job. And blackmail you. Right. Absolutely. You may that's be super true. bomb at your job, but that's going to be over the shadow mm -hmm. by the fact that you're sleeping with the boss. Mm -hmm. And then everyone finds out, then your work ethic right. is not going to be appreciated, even true. if you are super good at your job. So that's very do you think it's different if you go, like you are a man and a woman at work and they meet at work versus a man working there and then they hire his wife later on? Do you think it's like a difference? Of like us actually meeting there Ooh. and having like those relations. There is a there. difference. And then maybe because yeah. one of them yeah. is like you're fraternizing at work. You know? Right. And the right. other side, you already had a relationship before. Right. Yeah. So yeah. There's a difference. There's definitely yeah. a difference. And you guys are building something together. And if you guys are in the same field and you end up working at the same place, yeah. that's different, you know? Yep. So, so it looks like we're all on the same concises of if you've done it in the past, don't do it anymore. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of fish in the sea. Just be done with that. <laughs> There's a lot of fish in the right. sea, so find somebody outside of work. Or when you go to the delivery guy, though, like the guy that like delivers a package. That's some actual food. No, that I like. Because they're that's awesome, cute, that's awesome that's workers. That's here. Yeah, that's here. That happens a lot. They used yeah. to, when I was a receptionist, they used to flirt yep. with me all the time. Mm -hmm. It was yeah. crazy. At my old job, I used to work the front desk when the secretary was absent. Yeah. yeah. So we didn't have any like um, my like substitute for her. So they'll be like, Hey, can you work it for a couple hours? Mm -hmm. You work for and then, and I was the only black person in the company, and the UPS man was black. Wow. And he was like, Oh, so they finally let you guys. <laughs> and then like we would just flirt and oh, like, yeah. yeah. It makes your job fun though. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And every really time people come in the office, it was all cute. Yeah, the yeah. office yeah. and well, stuff. Thing, yeah. He doesn't work directly with the company. Yep. So yeah. that's, that's where it's nice. Like mm -hmm. if you find someone who works at a different company in your same field, by all means, oh, go for it. First of all, girl, you know he has a job. That's the first thing. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah. true. Uh, that you got past that hump and if they, you don't work within the same company or even if a whole entire different department, then go for it. But not within your same like cesspool of people. Like just yeah. Yeah. or do whatever makes you happy. Right. Yeah. Hey, if it works, it works. Exactly. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> but I also I also know someone who they fell in love on the job and so she quit. So that oh, wow. so she can continue her relationship without there being like a conflict of interest. Okay. Mm -hmm. Wow, she was yeah. dedicated. Yeah. yeah super she dedicated. Was. Are they still together now? Mm -hmm. They're still together. Well, I would quit if I could stay home and you're just going to work. Yeah. But I'm not going to quit my job to look for another one and yep. get through all that starting over. Yeah, I'm sure they had a plan. Yeah, I'm sure they had a plan. Oh, yeah. So, well, I'm happy for them. I hope they're still thriving yeah. and they're striving and actually, pushing like, onwards. <laughs> <laughs> All right, awesome. Well, thank you guys so much for your input on that topic. Going into our next topic, our play topic. Um, so let's talk about what's fun to do here in Arizona. Being young black women, like, what's going on? Like, what do you guys do? Staycations during the summer. Staycations. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Shopping. <laughs> There's a lot of resorts around the area. There's yeah. so many resorts in Arizona. Resorts, nice Where is a resorty? Yes. I, yes. You're yes. a resorty? Is that what they call a resorty? <laughs> like, a, like a foodie. I think I'm a foodie. A foodie, a resorty. So what resorts do 
do you go to? Where's I it? like, oh, I've been to a lot of them. I do like Princess Resort. Ooh, it's that's nice still. One. The Phoenician, that Ooh. one is beautiful. Yeah. Omni yeah. has beautiful yeah. views. Yeah. Um, Fire Sky, that's a nice one. Mm-hmm. The Hyatt mm-hmm. is beautiful. I was just there. Um, West and Kierland nice. is beautiful too. Oh, it's really beautiful. Oh my gosh, there's so many. So okay. many. Yeah, I love that. Um, I think the idea of having a staycation, like a lot of people feel like they need to get away, but I feel like you can get that same feeling right. of getting it's away by just going home. to a resort and just doing R and R time. So yeah. I think that's really good. The massages, then, good yes. food. Yes, food. You get a food, nice. booty. Yeah. <laughs> Arizona for the like immense amount of re- different restaurants that they have. Ooh, there are so many eating, yeah. and I have like a I like to try different cultures food. Right. Like um, just yesterday I went over to I can't remember the restaurant I went. It was on Tempe by ASU. It's an Ethiopian restaurant. You know what I'm talking about? But it was really that was my first time having wow. Ethiopian food. And it was really good, and you would like it since you're right. vegetarian. They have so many vegetarian. They have a lot yeah, of vegetarian. Yes. And my meal it didn't yeah. come with any meat. No, I was satisfied. Okay. Yeah. Very so silly. like Arizona has a lot of different foods for different cultures, and that's really something that I'm into. Mm-hmm. Matter of fact, tonight, me and uh, one of my friends are going to try Peruvian food. Nice. Oh, that's 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 awesome. fun. Yeah. So I'm gonna have fun. Peruvian food? What? Oh my god. I, I can't in Arizona, like I'm Mexican food and soul food and that's it. Girl, you Mexican need to bunch out. You have to bunch out. I'm from Arizona too. Yeah. I still yeah. like everything. Yeah. I'm, I'm super picky. Like, I'm yeah, really. Really. You have to open up your palate you and do. try different foods. Like. Not when I'm hungry, especially not when I'm hungry. Well, no, no. I think that's not the time to do So speaking of trying new things and foods, did you guys watch the new movie on Netflix with Sonali then half or Napoli Ever After? I was going to say Napoli Ever After. Yeah, I've seen like the previews. I do want to see it. I heard it was really good. I I watched it. it. Yeah, I thought it was really good. I thought it was a really good depiction of what it means to be a black woman and the troubles and trials and tribulations that we go through with our hair. Um, So I really liked it. I liked yeah. it. Yeah, I liked it a lot. Yeah. And a lot of people were giving it like the thumbs down or negative reviews because at the end of the movie, she didn't choose a man. Mm-hmm. Um, but I think that was the point of the movie. The okay, the so movie. what is it about? She cut her hair for a man? Be- or so wait, she- wait, don't give it all away. Right. Well, well, okay. I don't I'm think the previews are going to give you what of the movie the is yes. her hair has been her life from when she was a small life. girl, yeah. her mother made it seem that she wouldn't be perfect unless she had perfect hair. Right. Um, oh, her relationship did not turn out the way she wanted it to be, so she shaved it all off and she went bald. Right. Um, and I think it's about being a powerful black woman and understanding that your hair does not define who you, you are. You are not your hair. You are not your hair. You are your hair. You're not your hair. Not your hair. Um, but more so, like, you know, we all wear weaves. Like, you know, it's not a big deal. And that doesn't necessarily mean that you're doing something wrong. But there's beauty in your natural hair as well. Right. Mm-hmm. Uh, so how often do you guys wear your natural hair? Me never. Yeah, I rarely wear my natural hair. Really? And it's, yeah, it's because it's hard for me to manage because my hair is so coarse and so thick. Mm-hmm. And I want to wear my natural hair, but every time I do a natural style, it'll look cute for the day. And then it'll... Psh- Right. Yeah, I wear mine a lot, but the only thing since I haven't like had perms in a while, right. the edge control gel. I hate that. It makes yeah. my hair so dirty. Yeah, but I feel like that's probably well one of the best ways to handle natural hair. Yeah, yeah. so you get relaxers. So you get no, relaxers. On the do you get relaxers? I don't. That's what I'm saying. No, I haven't no. loved my hair in like the last nine yeah. years. Me too. Yeah. 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 When I went natural, I was so full natural, natural with yeah. hair. Yeah. It makes my hair so dirty, so it's hard to find. Well, I haven't found any good natural hair products. Yeah. yeah. It makes it difficult. Yeah. But Every time I like try to do my natural hair, I literally end up in the bathroom crying. Mm-hmm. Because it's so thick and it gets tangled. Yeah. It's just a lot. I I can't do it. Yeah. I think what yes. people need to realize is that, you know, although some women may feel like wearing a weave is a mask, for us, especially living here in Arizona with the heat in the summertime, it's a yeah. protective style. Exactly. Like having braids underneath a sew in or having braids underneath a wig or a weave or what have you, you are protecting your natural hair from getting broken off, from getting burned, from getting dry, from getting damaged, all, damage, these all these the chemicals. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but I don't feel like your hair should de- define you, who you are as a person. And I think yeah. that's essentially what the movie is trying to pre- portray, um, is that she felt like she was not perfect Patty if she did not have long, beautiful, straight hair, and that a man was not going to want her. Right. Um, I'll take my wig off in front of my man. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like, right. And I appreciate the fact that I don't feel like 
uncomfortable. I, I don't feel like he sees less. me. He should live with without it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, sure. Like, he knows that I have hair. I feel like if I shave my head, <laughs> that he would love me as well. Wait, did you guys ever shave your head? I've thought about it a um, few I times. Shave it, I wouldn't shave it, but I do want to do um, a pixie cut. And yeah. I tried to do a pixie cut maybe like eight years ago, and I don't like the girl who did it. I just didn't like it, so I just mm. started over on yeah. my natural journey. But yeah. um, I really would love a pixie cut if I can like get it perfect. See, yeah. you know, I did my world. big chop last summer, and that was like the shortest. I couldn't even get my hair in a ponytail, like so. Oh, that's wow. why I was been crochet weaves, all that. Because, yeah, trying to get uh -huh. it to like. Did you do your? Life. Did you guys do your own big chop, or did you go to a? No, I went to somebody and they I did, did my own. own. For me. Oh wow, yeah, that was oh, so great. You had like a Britney own. Spears moment. No, because I was already like pretty <laughs> natural. Well, like it's a I, I, right. oh, I kind of um, went through a transition wow. phase. I let my natural hair grow to a certain phase, mm -hmm. but I just kept flat ironing it mm -hmm. until it got to a good length. And then okay. once it got oh, to a good okay. length, I washed it and then uh, okay, so I did that. Wow. Yeah, cut it off. Yeah. Oh wow. Okay. Wow. Mm -hmm. You know, I did my big chop in I believe my freshman year of high school, but it wasn't done by me. It was done by my god sister. She just cut all my hair off and it was like it was like down to my earlobes like it was that short wow yeah. Yeah. that's how mine was when yeah. I did it but you can tell the difference between the natural and the relaxed so that right. you can yeah. 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 cut off the straight pieces yeah, like that's as what it starts I did. to grow yeah. up that's yeah. what I did yeah. because yeah. I mean we've been trained and brainwashed into believing that straight hair is the way to go because mm -hmm. that's what makes you beautiful long straight silky hair is what makes you beautiful that's the societal way that's a European way and I feel like a lot of women today still truly believe that. Right. Um, yeah. And that's the reason why they were getting relaxers. And I love the fact that we are in an age of celebrating the black woman and oh, the absolutely. natural black woman. And natural hair care is really, really big right now. It's so expensive. 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 It's expensive. It's so 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 expensive.
good yes. too. Yeah. 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 So they just came up and now they're in stores. And that's awesome. Shout out to them. Yeah. Instagram is that any sort of marketing? Yeah. Yeah. That's amazing. Is it male? How do you say it? I don't know. Let us know. How do you say it, guys? I don't know. Yeah. Let us know. She's done so many interviews, like on Steve Harvey. Yeah. Okay. The one with a really long hair. Yes. Okay. Yeah. She been on Basketball Wives too. She was on the real one. Yes, she was. She and girl. shout out Those to you thoughts. because that is just absolutely amazing. Like we love to see women who are making money moves, making boss moves, and now your product is worldwide in stores and okay. we're here talking about it. So yeah. if you haven't tried it, go try it. Right. <laughs> and right. Support her. And send us some so we can try yeah. it. Yeah. <laughs> send us some. No, we love to show off our natural hair, okay? Yes. <laughs> I don't know about that. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe on wash day. Catch me right, on wash day. Right. On wash day. It's all good. <laughs> but guys, I guess the, the basis of it, like, definitely go watch the movie. Support um, Napoli Ever After. Support our girl, Sanaa Lathan, the beautiful, gorgeous Sanaa Lathan. Mm -hmm. She really took an extra step in this movie. She shaved her head for real. Like, she it's did. not prosthetic. She literally shaved her yeah. head for real. And... I felt like it was just a freeing experience for her. Not saying that everybody needs to go shave their head, but it, it definitely... Some of y'all been yeah. shaving y'all head. <laughs> I've been sitting on Facebook, y'all been really shaving y'all Yeah, yeah, I really haven't shaved y'all head. If it works for you, go yeah. do it. But don't do, do it just about Amber Rosa. Tamar Braxton and her shaved head. I think that she needed to do that. Yeah, I think so. I, I think see. she needed to do it, but I don't think she should have done it. Why not? Why? Because it doesn't look good on her. Really? Oh, I don't think she rocks it very well. I think she looks beautiful. You think yeah, so? I think she does too. Yeah. I, I think, it, really I think maybe it's the way she carries herself. Yeah, that could that be, be it. it. You know. That could okay. be it. That she, the yeah, way a woman carries herself and the okay. way she speaks is yes. says okay. a lot. And in the movie, they touch bases on that. Yeah. They touch bases on if you walk around with a bald head or a shaved head and, and just, you don't own it, yeah. then everybody is going to know that you don't right. own it. Mm -hmm. But if you own it, then girl, you are fabulous right. and just you're still going it. to attract the same type of attention that you did when you had long, straight, silky black hair. So yeah, don't care what people think. Exactly. Do what you want to do. Do, do, do what, you what, you do. Oh, do what yeah. makes you happy. And if you want to go natural, go natural. If you want to wear a weave, wear a weave. If you want to wear a wig, wear a wig. Whatever makes you happy and whatever makes you feel confident and comfortable and beautiful, do you, boo -boo. Do you, boo-boo. <laughs> do you. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, thank you so much for tuning in, within, tuning in with us. Again, we are the ladies of Workplace Slay. Bye. Bye. And cut. And cut. Cut. All right. You need to cut it. <laughs>